Oh, what's up, Animaniacs? My name is Animaniac, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby Let's Play. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, there is a link in the description to take you to the entire playlist, as well as the previous episode, as well as even the next video when it's uploaded. And of course, you can do the exact same thing in the upper, uh, upper left corner of the video. You can, you'll see that there's icons there. The first one will take you to the previous episode. The next one will take you to the next episode. The one after that will take you to the, into the, the entire playlist. I'm talking too fast. I'm talking over myself. And of course, the last one there will allow you to subscribe. So, to blah, 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 to subscribe. So that way you don't miss any future episodes of my Pokemon Omega Ruby Let's Play. And before we begin, I am going to give you guys a little party update so you guys know what's going on here. We have Lulu, 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 at level 28, mined in with Sing, Swear, Electro Ball, and Volt Switch. We have Whiskers at level 30, Wishcash, who evolved in the last episode. He's that shiny, beautiful Wishcash. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> who knows? Zen Headbutt, Aqua Tail, Dragon Dance, and Magnitude. We're just waiting for him to learn uh, Earthquake, I think. Uh, anyways, we have Laura Kills, level 26, shiny, mighty Yenna with Tackle, Howl, Rock Smash, and Bite, Holding Quick Claw. We have Tifar, level 27. Swallow, holding the Silk Scarf, with Aerial Ace, Steel Wing, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack. We have Zayden, level 28, uh, Grovile, holding the Miracle Seed with Cut, Leaf Blade, Grass Pledge, and Quick Attack. And then, of course, we have Cloud, level 22, Numble, who knows, Iron Head, Amnesia, Magnitude, and Lava Plume. Good old, good old team. I'm liking this team so far. I think it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. I think, though, if the Mighty Yenna, if Lord Kills was not a shiny, we probably wouldn't be using her right now. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I got to come up here because I saw some berries. We got some Aspear berries. As Aspear berries? Aspear berries? As I don't know. Aspear berries? I don't know. I don't know. You guys can correct me in the comment section if you want. If you want, that's up to you. That's up to you. There we go. We got all of our Asper. We got six of those berries, Asper berries. Anyways, let's hop down here. Now, I kind of want, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I kind of want a Swablu. I want a Swablu. I want it to replace Tifa. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I've never used an Eltaria before, and especially now that it gets a Mega in this game, it, uh, it's kind of interesting. Like, uh, I kind of want to see what I heard Altarias suck really bad. I heard they, they suck a lot of donkey dick. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I want I want, I want one. I want one. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to spend a little bit of time here. And we're just going to capture a generic, a generic, uh, a generic Swablu, I think. There we go. There's a Swablu. There's a Swablu. Go Lulu. I think Lulu's going to kill it, though. Level 16? It'd be neutral damage. Okay, so maybe the Swift won't kill it. I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe I should find a good one, because I, I hear their moves pool really fucking sucks. Disarming voice? Was that again? Lower my special attack or something? Or not? Okay. Okay, let's get it. Let's, let's grab a Swab Blue, and then I'll uh, I'll spend some time with it. Let's get her, let's get her in a heal ball. Oh, get him? Oh, God. Oh, God. Do I want a male one? Ah. <sighs> Fine. Okay, so it's a male Swablu. Um, so we need a nickname. We need a nickname. I know I had a list of them down here somewhere. Let me have a quick look. look. Oh, what? You dirty son of a bitch. You dirty son of a bitch. Why are you so dirty? Why are you so dirty? Okay, so he's going to grab himself a mist. I'm going to go ahead and toss another Pokeball here. Another heal ball. We might as well. I got these heal bar from, balls from the demo, which reminds me, I still have a couple items I'm going to switch over, which I'll probably do this do after this episode. Uh, so male nickname, you know what would have been nice? <laughs> Calling him Cloud, but we can't. Um, so what should I go with? Let's give it a badass name. Let's give it a good badass name. This is a name that one of my friends used in, uh, in, uh, one of those, like, pen and paper RPG games. And, uh, and as well as other RPG games and stuff like that. So, oh, I didn't read it. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, fucking hell. Anyways, we're gonna give a nickname to the Swablu. And, uh, here we go. His nickname is going to be Draven. Draven, the uh, the male Altar or male Swablu, who will eventually be Altaria, and hopefully in the future, anyways, we'll have a Mega Altaria. I'm kind of hoping that we can have a Mega Altaria before the end game, but I think a lot of the stuff is end game anyway. So, like I, I know I found out that Numble is a uh, camera up, Mega Camera up or Camera up type. 
whatever it's called, is endgame. So, after the Delta episode, which is uh, kind of sad. Now, nah, because it looks like we're going to go through this game without a Mega. So, kind of sucks. I kind of want, like, maybe I've replaced Lulu with a Manectric. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. We need to actually put Cloud back out in front here. Because Cloud needs, Cloud needs the XP here. He's kind of falling behind everybody. Which, uh... It's no bueno. Oh yeah, and who, who's his partner? We need a flying type so he can use Magnitude. So, obviously, I'm gonna go with Tifa. Perfect, right? Smart. Smart. Hashtag smart. S-M-R-T. Can you hashtag it for me? Let's hashtag it for me, please. Alright, so anyways, teammates Tyra and Ivy wants the battle. Look at us at Rosalia and Azumarill. So maybe I won't be using uh, Cloud's Magnitude. Probably best if I Go ahead and use uh, lava plume. Can, uh, lava plume is going to hit everybody. God, motherfucker, damn it! Ah. Okay, so we are gonna magnitude. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. We're gonna iron head the Azumarill. <clears throat> Excuse me. We could have steel winged it, but and then we're gonna aerial ace the Roselia. Don't fuck this up, Cloud. Okay, down goes the Roselia. And then down goes the, the Azumarill, right? Right, Cloud? Cloud. 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 Wait, why, why, why was that not super effective? I'm confuzzled. Super confuzzled. I thought, I thought, no, does water resist? Steel? I, if it does, you learn something new every day. Right? And there, there goes Cloud. Oh, come on, Cloud. Like, I understand you're four times a week against it, but bruh. 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 Come on, bruh. I'm so actually surprised our highest level is Whiskers. Actually, I shouldn't be surprised because it is a traded over Pokemon, so it does get boosted XP. We're just going to Volt Switch on the Azumarill. And, uh, just aerial ace on the Azumarill. There we go. This will probably be more than enough to take out the Azumarill. Which is lame, because now i got to use a revive. I, I kind of don't want to run back. I kind of don't want to run back. I'm going to use a revive on Cloud. And, uh, pick him back up. Get him back up to full health. And then we can just continue on with our journey. Because apparently, Professor Cosmo has been kidnapped by Team Magma. So we need to go save his butt. And to be honest, I don't, I'm tired of saving his butt. Oh, yeah, we have a rare candy. I forgot about that. What else do we have here? Hyper potion, elixir. Anyways, 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 let's move on here. We got some more trainers. I'm just trying to scout out the area uh, without getting into trainer battles that we don't have to get into. All right, what do you have for us? An Aeron? An Aeron? Alright, well, we're about to annihilate your Aeron. We're going to Lava Plume you. Which is nice. It's nice to have a Lava Plume that actually hits everything on the field. That way I can do some Horde battles and just annihilate them with with uh, with Numble here. You have Sturdy, you dirty son of a bitch! Ah, Sturdy is like the most heartbreaking move for me. There we go. I like that. Good job. Good job. Good job. I like that. Cloud, you're, you're a boss. You're a boss. I don't care what anybody says, what other people say about you. You're a boss. You're just an amazing Pokemon. Even though last episode I was kind of complaining about you, but regardless, you're a boss. You're, you're a boss. Oh, I see an item. We're going to use Rock Smash here. Uh, maybe we'll get an item for using Rock Smash on this thing. And not a trainer battle, or a wild Pokemon battle, and of course, what do we got? We got Geodude. We're just gonna fucking run from this thing. Fuck that noise. I'm tired of Geodude. It's probably one of my least favorite Pokemon. Get out of here. Get out of here. And uh, I think that's gonna bring us to today's question of the day. Who is your least favorite Pokemon? A Pokemon that you wouldn't give a flying fuck about if they just erased it from the game. Magikarp? Geodudes? Seriskits? Goldeen? I don't know. I'm, I'm picking crap out of my head here. 
But you guys need to make sure you let me know down in the comment section below who is your least favorite Pokemon. And I'll give you mine in here in a couple minutes. But anyways, you guys are... Where are you taking the professor? Hey, wait up! Uh, there's actually a couple that I don't like. Um, but I think the one that stands out to me the most that I just hate, because uh, I think it's a horrible design. Um, it, like, even a shiny version of it isn't enough to get me excited. Like, I ran into a shiny, um, golem, and I was not excited. I was like, oh, cool, yay, in my X version, if you guys are wondering. And I, I named them Dr. Explosion, and, uh, he's been sitting in my box ever since, because I don't really care about him. But, uh, but anyways, but my, probably my least favorite Pokemon is definitely Geodude, and, uh, if they were to wipe Geodude off the face of the, of, the, of the planet to get rid of it for the entire world of Pokemon, I would not be as it'd be sad. If, if if the powers that be were just like Geodude has been banned worldwide, he is to no longer be uh, to exist, uh, and all games must be turned in because we're going to remove Geodude from the records or whatever. I'd be like, I'll hand my game right over and be like, go ahead and fucking do it, please. Get 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 rid of it. Uh, so I don't, I don't mind, like, I don't mind, you know, Golem and Graveler, but it's, uh, but, like, I, oh, what, what, we're locked into magnitude, why? That's dirty son of a bitch. Did, did, did he taunt me? Not taunt me, but, uh, I don't know what that movie's called. Encore me? They must have unco un encored me. But yeah, G-Dude's my pick. I want to know what your pick is for, like, your least favorite Pokemon. Let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, we're gonna ha we're being forced here to swap out, which is kind of lame. We're gonna send in. I was gonna send in Whiskers there, but I don't think that's really good. There, we're sending Tifa here. Let Tifa do some work. Let let her do some work before we put her away for Altaria. Well, Swablu. I mean, uh, it, hey, if things don't work out with uh, with uh, our Swablu, then we'll just you know switch back to Tifa. But uh, the reason why I want to make the switch is because I kind of want to make this uh, let's play interesting, kind of switch up the party and give you guys something a little bit to work for or look forward to in each episode. You never know when this party's going to change. You know, I might get tired of Grovile or uh, Sceptile, and I may may end up just switching them out for a Rose Raid or something. You never know, Lulu. Lulu may be pulling her weight, but you know what? I think a Voltorb might be great, you know? Uh, same with Nummel, you know? I may love Nummel a lot or Camera Up, whatever, but you know what? A Macargo sounds great right about now. You know what I mean? So, uh, if you guys are, like, enjoying this team member, I mean, you can voice your opinion on if you want to keep your, keep what member you want to keep and stuff, uh, and I'll consider it. But uh, I, I don't want to make any promises either. I kind of want to like go along and ch really check out these hidden bases and as I go to see which is what or what is yeah which is what and which is good which is great which is grand you know. But uh, I feel like it, it could be a bit a waste of time during LP. So I'll do that in my off time, uh, off screen stuff in between when I'm waiting to record. Because usually I'll, I'll play, take my 3DS with me uh, wherever I go and just kind of pop out and play and I'll grab my other team that I have. To go Pokemon hunting and stuff like that. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna be taking on. Oops. Uh, you know, uh, we need, we're gonna be taking on. It looks like a hiker. Usually he has like uh, ground and rock type. So I kind of wanna see what Whiskers can do. See what Whiskers can do. Our shiny. I almost said Barboach. Our shiny Whiskash. So let's see what what he can do for us. Hiker Lenny's gonna set him a chop. Okay, well, that's fine. But let's let's give let's give Whiskers some a little bit of time to shine. So you guys can actually see our shiny Whiskers, our shiny Whiskers. Look at his whiskers. Look at him. He's like a little French French mustache. Uh, you know what? Let's go for a Zen headbutt. Why not? Right? He has a fighting type. We have a psychic type move. That's gonna be super effective. That's gonna be a dead a dead machop. Down for the count. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Hiker Lenny was defeated, and uh, I, I think in this episode I'm probably going to avoid some of these trainers. Again, something I'm going to do off screen is come through here and battle, we battle all the trainers and stuff like that. Uh, but it's just like this game with the experience show, you kind of don't really have to battle everything, which is uh, an interesting approach to the game. Ooh, what's up here? <laughs> oh, yeah. A Pokeball. You know, I think I was talking about, I, we saw that TM, and I never went and got it. <laughs> or the HM. Was it HM? Yeah, HMs are in the yellow balls, right? 
No, TMs are in the yellow balls. What am I talking about? And I never got it, which is something I'll probably go back and pick up. This is back before we got to Fall Town. I'm going through the ad, uh, the ashes and stuff like that. Again, something I'll pick up on a later date, but uh, we're just going to run for that. I'm actually going to switch out Whiskers here, because again, Whiskers, Whiskers is a highest level Pokemon. He doesn't really need any XP. Uh, so we're just going to switch out. We're going to go back into Cloud here, because Cloud's the one that needs the XP right now. Only level 23. Give it up, you bozos! Let the professor go! Huh? What do we have here? Why has this child suddenly appeared? I mean, you came! We've got to save Professor Cosmo from these people. There are two of them, and two of us. I don't mean, please, battle together with me. Okay. Thanks, Zip Mill. Ah, ah, isn't this amusing? Is it really your intention to oppose me, a team magma admin? Just the two of you? <laughs> Very well, then. I'll show you how terrifying adults can be. <laughs> I'm going to give you some very thorough coaching. This will be my first time battling beside you, you know what I mean? I've got to do my best. I don't like her pose. My pose is pretty cool, but her pose is kind of lame. Her one arm out, yeah, one behind her, or whatever it was. Seems kind of fucking lame. But anyways, we're taking on Team Magma Grunt and Team Magma Admin Tabitha. Wait, the guy's name is Tabitha? Wait, what? Really? Really? I'm... I'm sorry, dude. Your parents must have hate you. Must have hated you. And that's, you were probably an accident, baby. Like, oh my god. Um, so we are obviously going to go for the Lava Plume because we don't care about Wilmer. Wilmer resists it. We're good. Ooh, swagger. No, well, at least it's on me, right? You know? <laughs> at least it's not really going to do much to me if I hit myself. I guess. Wow. Okay, I th for some reason, I thought I, I thought he, it said surf, and he's gonna hit me and kill me. I would have freaking oh been so pissed. Self destruct. We're gonna eat this up, right? I know Wilmer is, but Cloud's gonna eat it up, right? You dirty son of a bitch! I cannot wait for this thing to be a camera up, and can maybe take hits. Throwing that out there. Um. <laughs> We're going go to Laura Kills here, because Laura Kills is a spouse, a south spouse. Look at him! Look at him! Look at her! All gold and shiny and sparkly. Don't you just want to pet her? I kind of want to pet her. But before, we're gonna let the Wilmer knock out this mighty Yenna here. So what I'm gonna do is actually use my Max Revive here on Cloud. So that way, that way Cloud is back at the full health, and he'll get the XP for this fight. So he's gonna hit up a Snarl. Wilmer holds on with 1 HP like a champion. Our special attack falls, but I don't think that really matters. And the Wilmer is going to finish off the Mighty Anna with a Water Pulse. Fantastic. See that? I didn't have to do anything. Didn't have to do anything. And Cloud grew to level 24, which could maybe now he'll survive an explosion. Tifa grew to level 29. It's a, it's a shame that we already have plans for Tifa. Very, very sad. I know. And Numble is going to send in a Numble. That's, which is not good because the Water Pulse is definitely coming Numble's way from Wilmer. We're going to go ahead and hit Numble with a Bite and a Quick Claw. Procs, and here comes the Bite on Numble. Is it enough to take it out? Nah, Whirlpool. That's okay, that should be more than enough to finish off with Numble. And then we can all just move about our day. We can just move about our day. Alright. I still can't believe that guy's name is Tabitha. Like, really? Tabitha? That's your name? You poor, poor soul. No wonder why you joined Team Magma, right? <laughs> huh? An unexpected development. We did it, I mean. You children, I would like you to stay out of my way. Team Magma's scientific prowess, Mount Chimney's energy, and the hidden power of the meteorite, if we combine them all as super ancient Pokemon. Wah! <laughs> you lost this scamp? What a pathetic bunch. You lazy stooges will be the downfall of Team Magma. Wh who's there? <laughs> Is it Archie?
Hey, uh, even tag Team Mag uh, what? Even Team Aqua is making an appearance. The odds do not appear to be in my favor. You there? I'll have the meteor right now. Yes, sir. What? 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 Come now, hand over the meteorite. Ah, Professor. Ah, oh, yeah, the meteor is in the palm of my hand. Well, well, well. Adios to each and every one of you. At long last, I'm off to Mount Chimney. And I just stand there and let them pass. I would have tripped at least one of them. Or at least made fun of him, that, that the fact that his name is Tabitha. Anyways, tch. Archie, will we go after those monsters? That's right. We're not letting them get away. So when he runs by and knocks me in the water. <laughs> oh, what's this? You've got quite a, fierce, quite a fierce expression on you for such a wee little thing. The name's Archie. I'm the leader of Team Aqua, a group that's working to return the world to a pristine state. One that, that'll be perfect for Pokemon survival. Looks like you were getting into it with Team Magma there, lest my eyes deceive me. It's not like I'm in a position to argue if that's what you're up, if that's what you're up to, hey? But I will, I'll tell you this much, so remember. If you next get in the way of Team Aqua, you won't get off so lightly. So steer it clear and keep your nose clean, scamp. I imagine I'll be seeing you. <laughs> I don't know, I, I tried to come up with like the worst evil laugh. I think I did it there, right? Oh, bother. What? I thought it was oh, brother. It was, oh, bother. I have no idea what's going on anymore with all these people. Never mind those nuts. Professor, you okay? You doing okay? But, but, the, I only... Son of a, uh, uh, oh, they—they—they they, they gave him an anal satellite. They anally, anally probed him. I knew it. I don't know what I'm going on, but it was, looks like he's still pretty out of it. What I mean, that anal probe—the light is going. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta stop the anal probe. I—I I don't know why I thought of that. I really don't. But anyways, never mind. What's happened? I've got to get to the pro the professor back to his lab in Fall Arbor. Okay, professor, easy now. You don't want to damage the anal. <laughs> but I mentioned that this LP is not for kids. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Yeah, I pulled the anally probe joke. Yep. Yep. Hey, at least I didn't have to walk back. That's what I'm happy about. I didn't have to walk back. Ah, Professor. Thank the stars above, Professor. You're back. Ah, thanks for these children. I have somehow returned. Those nuts back there. What do you think they're hoping to do with the professor's meteorite? From the look on them, look of them, they kind of seem like bad guys. But we both got to be careful. Though I'm, I'm not worried a bit if it's you and your team, aren't I mean? But I need to, I need to thank you as well. I, you truly saved me from disaster. I hope you'll take this team as a small form of repayment. We got ourselves smacked down. Nobody uses that move though, right? That's the one that makes us the. Uh, it, uh, if it's using a flying type, it uh, makes it so they, they, they ground them for a turn or something like that. I don't know. Wow, thanks, Professor. Well, what are you going to do next, I mean? I'm thinking of checking out the next gym on my list. It's the one in Marvel City. Why don't you come with me, I mean, to Marvel? I was already there, but uh, fine. Right on. Let's hit the road, Jack. And no, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. We've arrived in Marvel City. Up ahead, there was Mount Chimney, huh? That's the place with nut jobs at Meteor Falls. We're talking about going to. Be careful, Iron Man. It might get dangerous around here. Okay, bah. Bah. It's like, oh no, she sees me. And then we hide behind the, the, the sign here. And maybe she won't be able to see me anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit the like button for me. It shows your support for the channel. And it shows your support for the, the video series. For this for this Let's Play. And it, it kind of encourages me to keep uploading them. And uh, maybe I'll start bringing you guys to a day. As long as the likes and the views keep coming in. And your support is what I'm trying to say. As, as long as your support keeps coming in, I'll keep supporting you guys with videos. And of course, don't forget to answer today's question of the day down in the comment section below. And of course, if you don't want to miss any future episodes of my Pokemon Omega Ruby Let's Play, make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't already. 
And guys, thank you. Uh, it's been one hell of a ride so far, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. I hope to catch you guys in the next episode, and as always, stay dirty. Yeah. <laughs>